Hey, you're back on. <laughs> hello, 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 my lovies. Happy Friday. And I am checking, is this going live? I think it is because I see Elena from my light language group. <laughs> she's here, she's on. Post how you're finding the group, Elena. Would you recommend it to people to do again? I'm gonna be hosting it again in March. Um, I think this is going live. Yeah, looks like it is. Perfect. You can hear me okay? Ah, that was a beautiful session. Um, thank you, Elena and all the ladies in the light language dancing. That was amazing. I really enjoyed it. And I feel so clear right now, like really clear. Um, Irina, hello, my, mm, Irina, Mwah, my sweet, sweet Irina. How are you, my darling? And you were on my first light language class. <laughs> um, Tonight, Irina, we did the dancing one. Do you remember doing that with us last time in August, I think, wasn't it? So I am coming on to do a fun little bit of a carpool, but also to share what my specials are so that you beautiful people can hear what's on offer and then do a little pull on the energies today. It cleared a lot today. Um, last night with the full moon was, even for me, it was super intense. Like I was breathing through that stuff <laughs> um yeah yeah Irina it was beautiful hello Mandy welcome welcome I'm gonna share this in my other group and please if you've somewhere that you'd like to share this share it I will be doing a little carpool and of course oftentimes it's not just a carpool I do soul reading with it and I channel through the beings with some activations and stuff like that so if anybody wants to share this feel free to share it um i am going to put this in my dragon group in my how do i do a share do 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 excuse me i'm gonna genie max i'm pressing buttons here elena and it's saying add you to come on live i don't think you'd want that <laughs> maybe i can't can i share <laughs> I think we got me in technology. I'm gonna do the share from the computer. So you're just gonna have like side face view for one second while I share. Um, welcome, welcome. Those of you popping on right now. Hello. <laughs> Elena, I will, I'll pull you a card. You'll be the very first one I pull, my darling. Billy, hello, Billy. I haven't met you before. Castle Wellen, where's that from? I have no idea. Um, yeah, Lynn, no. <laughs> uh, share to my group, the Dragon Tribe Peace Collective. Anybody that wants to come into that, please do. I will be doing more shares in there in the future as well. Um, because, my lovelies, <laughs> I am contemplating, um, I've been asked, really, rather than contemplating, to hold a dragon group. Um, and to do a workshop on the dragons. As many of you know, I work with dragons. I mean, it's all over, it's emblazoned on my branding. Dragons be with me, ahoy. Um, so that dragon energy, I haven't ran a course on it before, um, but if I have enough interest, I will. I mean, I just need enough people to essentially to come on, I'll hold it, you know? Um, so I'll either do something similar to the light language group, uh, you know, like keep maybe a two week thing. The light language group is much longer, but keep it a two week thing. Perhaps there's so much information about dragons. I don't possibly know how I could get through it all. Um, I think I'll have to really think about that and see who wants to come on it. Uh, so that is one thing that's in the works for March. I'll be running the light language group in March too. Who wants to activate their light language? or even come back. I've had many people come back and reset it and redo it as well with me. Um, they're hugely transformative containers. It's not just light language you're working through or activating within you. I mean, it's going through your whole light body. It's going through your ancestral lineage. It's going through your karmic lineage. It is clearing the crop. And it's been seen, been heard, working through those blocks that we have, you know, and creating a sacred space of magic priestesses. That's what we're kind of I feel that evoking a lot tonight. We're in the Egyptian temples. So yeah, that was fun. Um, 
Mandy, you like a card? Good, Claire, you're on. I got your message, my darling. I was just reading it. I have to reply to you. Um, Billy, I will. I'll post a link to the Dragon Tribe Peace Collective. I will. County Down. How did I never hear of that in County Down? I've driven through County Down a lot of times, but I've never stayed in it, I'm afraid. Um, Norn Arn. <laughs> Norn Arn. <laughs> I won't do that. I won't offend you with my bad accent. Um, I am in Spain and this is a classical Spanish accent, accent in case you haven't heard it. <laughs> no, it's a Galway accent. I'm originally from Galway, uh, lived in Cork for many, many years and I'm now in Spain. Um, Olive, you'd love a car too. Awesome. I was on the beach today sunbathing and I got to swim. Oh, isn't that awful? It's like I'm shoving it in people's faces. No, but like seriously, it's January. What the actual? Anyway, specials. Light language group in March. Ping me now if you want to join us again when we were doing that again. Dragon group in the works. And then one-to-one. -one. People have been asking, I need to work with you one-to-one. -one. I need the support. I need to get down and dirty. I need to get into it and shift it and have the transformations that are long lasting. So I have specials on, there's 30% off on the one-to-one -one options with me. And there is serious work that happens in there and a lot of support. Um, so I have six weeks for the one-to-ones option, 30% off right now, and I have a three-week option as well. So um, PM me for that info. I don't have a lot of spaces. So I only have two, that's four, two, two spaces, um, mainly because the sessions are, you know, they're intense and uh, I don't take on too many of one-to-one -one clients um, because I already have a lot of one-to-one -one clients with the light language group as well, because that was included too. So um, there are some of my specials. PM me if you want no more details. And um, Irina, in case I haven't, because I've been talking so much, is it? <laughs> you like a card too. I'll see how much I get in um, with the cards and I'm going to intuitively go through in case lots of people come on. So share this. If you want to share this live now, share it, please. Um, with your mates, your friends, tag them in here. Let's see what needs and wants to come through. So... Um, for those of you new to me, my name is Mary Catherine. I am a soul alignment facilitator. I'm a soul reader and a light language activator. I kind of activate the magic. <laughs> Not that I'm tooting my own horn. I freaking love the magic in life. Right now we need more of it and we've forgotten it. And it's all about coming back into the heart space. That's what this is about. Embodiment in the heart and that consciousness moving into this space. Mm. Olivia, I can feel the beautiful energies of those of you coming in. So welcome, welcome. <laughs> it's like I'm doing an average. Come to County Down. All right, Billy. <laughs> okay, Garen is your maiden name. Well, hello, Olivia. I loved Cork. I was in Cork for well over 10 years. Um, and then I lived in France and now I'm in Spain. Um, but I loved Cork. I, I, my phone was in Cork. Uh, I will be going back to Cork for sure sometime in the future. <sighs> the Lyrians are coming in straight away. So if you're familiar with Lyrian energy, it's like courage of the heart. They're very heart-centered in courage. And they're, they're here to bring that love and strength to us right now. Um, it's like a feline-ish energy as well. So um, very sensual. They're inviting us back into the senses, into the senses, into the senses, into the body. Some of you that are on this live, um, they're actually some of your guides. Uh, four of you have Lyrian guides. Um, I am getting told by those guides right now. Um, if any of you is working through, funny, we're talking about ancestral stuff, right? 
If anybody's working through some ancestral stuff right now, or you're maybe even me just saying it and it's kind of sitting, you're like, hmm, yeah, I actually have a free workshop. I mean, I, I did the workshop a year ago, year and a half ago, um, on ancestral clearing. It's a very powerful. I mean, this was a whopper of a workshop in the fact that the codes that came through and the clearings that happened and the bindings that were undone and the vows and the oaths, the agreements that were made by our forefathers or foremothers around poverty consciousness, around love, around expression, or all of these things um, were essentially undone. So if you want to go and tap into that energy, I mean, it's quantum, it's in the quantum field that is always effective. You'll get exactly what you need when you go back to look at it. Um, I have it on my YouTube channel. Now it is like two and a half hours, three hours. Like it's not a short workshop. So you can watch it in sections, um, but it's powerful. It is particularly, there's some of you here that need that. So that's why I'm saying that out loud and it's free. I mean, this is a gift from my heart to, my, uh, to you. Um, I was woken up in the middle of the night and told to do it. And I did it like the next day kind of a thing. So um, that was very much guided. So, Brandy, hello, you're in my light language group too, welcome. Right, I'm going to start pulling cards. I'm talking about there's a lot of Lyrian energy coming through. What else is coming through right now? Oh, the dragons. Who talked about dragons? Is that you, Billy? You've got a dragon. Let me read up what you said. I have a baby fire dragon called Monty. And check out my friend's book about dragons in the Morn Mountains. I will so have to check that. Francis Morgan. So the, the dragons of Ireland are super ancient. Um, I mean, they run underneath, like there's a lot of gold in Ireland underneath that's never been tapped or found. And they're just like, boom, underneath that. Ireland holds a lot of ancient temples that are, were desecrated essentially, um, but the energy is still there. And that's why Ireland has so many fairy mounds and so much like the Hill of Tara, and it's got so much sacred space. Um, that was, a little robbed but is now coming back in because um the ley lines in ireland and i'm sure it's happening everywhere but why when i tapped in with the dragon energy uh maybe a week two weeks ago um there's a shift actually like geographically or energetically like that magnetic energy is shifting and it's realigning again to open up vast wells and springs Ireland was famous for the wells and springs and it's going to come up again. These waters will start coming up again in the next 10 years. I'm not going to say it's happening tomorrow. It's like it's happening and these will be healing waters. Um, the sacred dragon of Ireland um, will be overseeing this and a lot of the elemental spirits again coming through. Of course, the fae and the veils in Ireland in certain places in Ireland are super thin, like certain forests, the ancient forests that we have as well. Like some of those veils are so thin, it's easy to to for them to come through and again bring that energy back that used to be here it's in our legends in our folklore um so yeah super interesting um ireland has so much in our lore and legends that is based on truth and we just need to wade through some of that and discern what it what is true and what isn't true and i've been doing that the last few weeks billy you got me off on a, on a little hike about ireland um i am going to pull a card for elena <laughs> gabriella and Marie, in my light language group, you're here too. Welcome. Um, so let us see. Elena. Now, I only have three decks with me here because I didn't plan to come to stay in Spain. And I only brought three. Thank God I brought three. Um, I'm going to ask, do you need the Divine Feminine, the Dragons, or the Master Cards? <sighs> Pull her the Master Cards. That's funny. I don't use the Master Cards much but that's what's coming through. Pull Elena the master cards. And what is the message that Nisa wants to come through for Elena, please? <laughs> Tell her to get her feet in water. They're, they're, they're saying, get your feet in water. Um, now, I wonder, does that, is that something to do with the energy and grounding out? Get your feet in water, salt water, perhaps? <sighs> something to do with like, the energy and the electricity coming from the feet as well will help bring it out. Whatever's in the feet, I suppose there's a shifting and it's going down. So water's going to help. Uh, warm, nice hot water and a bit of salts. Elena, they're saying, get her feet in water. Before you put your feet in water, bless it. All right, bless that water. Use your hands. You have a lot of magic in your hands. And if you if your light language is coming through now, say a few hums as... Um, Whatever words you have as well, Elena. So that's coming through. 
And of course, the card that's coming through is <clears throat> so um, a little bit in the throat clearing that wants to happen. I'm going to take a glass of water. And this is a very gentle card. I'm going to show it to you now. The minute it comes in, it's like my whole body is just softening. And it's so gentle and it's almost like a whisper because it doesn't want to scare you away. Does that make sense? It's like this energy coming in is just gentle as gentle could be, like soft footprints on sand or like clouds brushing across your face. That's the energy that's coming in. And what we have here is follow your heart and St. Francis. Now, St. Francis and the Jesus Yeshua energy is so strong. I mean, it's the same lineage practically. And St. Francis, just to take in their card, and it's all about the heart space. But it's about the gentle and kindness love. I talked about the strength love a minute ago. This is the love that is gentle and kind, that is unwavering in holding. And I'm going to invite any message that wants to come through. And there's a lot around nature and animals. And there's an element of in the ear. And I'm getting it's masculine. There's a, a very rah, rah, rah energy. Does that make sense? Like, a, I'm getting like abusive. Okay, like somebody who's shouting, shouting or abusive, feels masculine. Um, whether that's your thoughts on you that are quite masculine, they're pushing their force, or whether that was somebody. I am getting it was somebody. And I'm asking, is it this life or another? I'm getting this life. Okay, so if this is true, let it in. If it's not, hey, I got it wrong. <laughs> um, but that's what it feels like because I'm going by the feeling in my ear. I'm going by the sense of a man is standing behind me and I'm just like, they're like staying stuff. Um, that energy wants to clear. And the the balance of St. Francis coming in is a, a masculine. Yeah, I felt like your father. I just didn't want to say that out loud. But yeah, I felt like your dad. Um this 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 energy is the up it's a masculine he's a man it's the opposite of that that the masculine can embody the gentleness and the softness like that and that there's a healing that needs and wants to happen regarding um programming around the masculine being seen being loved being accepted uh being heard by the masculine um, that needs and wants to be undone. And St. Francis is just coming through with that message to ask him to work through you and with you to help with that. And there's an element of grief in the heart here now as well. Like, I mean, he is all the gentleness of his open heart. He will not say a word. He'll just sit and listen as you scream it out, as you rage it out, as you shout it out, as you, you know, punch it out into the imaginary space that might be there. And you let it out of the body. It has to be expressed. It needs and wants to be expressed. Maybe you're in nature doing this. And I have a sense that maybe being around trees and a water, like a stream or a pond or the sea or a river, um, if that's around, that that will help as well with this energy that needs and wants to be expressed. And maybe you're going out for, if you can, the way things are right now, a walk and bringing your intention with you. And if if you need a scream, like it feels like there's anger that needs to wants to be released as well. Um, so Francis is here to hold you in that and to say it's okay, it's safe to do that. You don't have to be afraid to act that way because often we're, we're, we're told you're not allowed to be that way, you're not allowed to act that way, you don't have permission, you're not allowed. Um, and you've been given the, the green light and the go ahead here. He's actually showing me a green light and he's saying green light, green light, green light. The color green, and I'm going to burp because the energy is coming up excuse me that's energy releasing the color green is important can you wear the color green 
and that color green will work with you and through you and we have Archangel Raphael coming through at St. Francis now and it's funny there's two masculines like they're here to heal the masculine and I get the sense that the breath is only really getting to around here and you're being invited in in nature or in your bedroom in your shower can, how deep can you go how deep can you breathe tapping on that breath it's safe to breathe I don't have to hold my breath anymore it's like that holding and right I don't have to hold my breath anymore or you're holding the breath waiting for something you know I don't have to hold my breath anymore it's safe to breathe, it's safe to be in the body, it's safe to be here. Ah, and you know me and I say that. What does that mean? <laughs> that means soften, open, surrender, open the pelvic bowl, the urethra, the back passage, the perineum. Ah, open, soften, breathe in. Ah, there's an element of the body, like the cells in the physical body, saying, I'm not safe. I'm not safe. I'm not safe. And I just want that reprogramming that needs and wants to happen with the physical body when you connect in with it. And what we did today in the light language group with the, the dance and the light language and that expression, um, is particularly those grounding, get home in your body songs rather than the ethereal get out of your body ones, like listening to that type of music will really help bring in as well. And those beats, those vibrations, right? They bring you right back in. So I'm just going to see, is there anything else that needs wants to come through from St. Francis? All questions that you have reside within the realm of your heart space. When we learn and practice, because this is a practice, we can come into the heart, but then like something happens and we go back out again and look, hands up <laughs> I am still practicing that practice of being heart-centered breathing into the heart being in the heart speaking from the heart living from the heart trusting from the heart being in the body from the heart it's like this asking from the heart even about like you know what what programs do I offer making sure it's not from here that my heart is guiding me for what feels right what is right what what is true oh, it's a muscle for us to develop there's not many people that come in and stay that way. I mean, all children come in connected to the heart, but that we stay that way. Um, and there's a few and they'd be masters, right? Um, so we're all in this together about moving into this heart space, this heart centeredness, the courageous heart, the strong heart, the kind heart, the loving heart, the giving heart, the receiving heart. It's, there's so much depth for us to learn from here. Your question, whatever that is, is in your heart space. Nobody else can tell you what's in your heart space. Nobody. I can't. And if anybody else says they can, discern. <laughs> it's nobody's job to tell you what's in your heart space, you see. Even visionaries or clairvoyants, I mean, they can facilitate and guide you to get into that key and put the lock in. But you have to put the lock in, you have to open that door. They can guide you to the door, but they can't open it. I mean, that's 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 your job, your responsibility, right? Are you there with me on that? So it says here, the universe will ensure that your needs are met. So there's an element of trust that's needed. And when we have doubt, and when doubt comes up quite loudly, Often it's because we are knocking on the heart and we're not sure can we trust because it's new, it's unknown. And maybe there's forgiveness that needs and wants to happen, right? In the heart space. And it can feel scary because the heart's been hurt or the heart's been betrayed or the heart's never been heard. And it, it's like, we don't even know what it sounds like when we go in to listen. And then we get all frustrated. <laughs> This is a practice and sitting with whatever it is that comes up, giving yourself five minutes, 10 minutes, being in nature, asking the questions, just being like an open canvas ready for a drop of rain even to land on it rather than a paintbrush. It's like that open receiving. Oh, 
completely. So that is what St. Francis is coming to guide you around and within. So you're guided to make an important, to make important and happy life changes. There is changes afoot with him. He's guiding you gently into changes. He's, he's not the type, like if we call in certain energies, um, like Apollo or some of those fire dragons, like there's a push, go and get it, go ahead, go run and make that change. Like they're being pushed. He's very gentle in his uh, guidance into this, okay? So um, St. Francis of Assisi was born in Italy and he renounced his money and inheritance to be spiritual. He gained his followers by volunteering in hospitals and ministering to the sick. And many legends speak of his ability to communicate with animals. And he's a patron saint of the environment and animals. That's why I, I, I get like nature is very important, that grounding, that animal, talking to the trees, speaking to things, listening. And sometimes maybe that's easier at the start and then speaking to self and listening to self in the same way. So if you want to practice that when you go out, like speak to the tree, put a hand on the tree, breathe the tree in, feel it, stay there a good five, ten minutes. Feel it. It doesn't have to say anything back to you, but just be open. There's an element of the opening, 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 opening. And as you open, you're going to release that, like, a lot of anger is not yours, that frustration, right, around here. And um, watch that clearing. Um, have you, did you, you, you caught that clearing in the group on being heard as well, because I'm going to need to do one on speaking. So in our light language group, I have certain clears. So you watch that again, and I'll put one up on speaking, because around here needs wants to happen. And the release, any negative energy implants, entities, uh, transmission I have, that everybody can access that actually, it's on my YouTube channel. That might help with this here too, okay? So um, let me see, I'm gonna call on St. Francis for help in situations where your family or friends don't understand your choices or the path that you've taken or any inv inv issue involving animals. So he's here to help you where your family or friends don't understand what it is you are being, doing, saying, and around animals, anything to do with animals. So I'm going to invite him in now, invoke him. I mean, he's just been gently standing there um, and he is right beside you right now. So feel him. So I'm going to bring him in now. That's a galactic. Oh, my, 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 my,
koro ni a umma e ni a umma e ti va ana ko ni a ma 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 soto ni mala. This is about not belonging. They're coming in because we all, many of us, come here and we're like, who landed me on this rock? <laughs> what am I doing here? I don't belong. Hell said I was going to be here. This being is coming in because it's release your soul family and they're they're just inviting you so much going on here oh shake it out oh, take a breath in and everybody else i mean this can work for you too just because i'm doing elena doesn't mean it can't work for you too good you're opening ah oh. ah oh. So what is this being saying? <laughs> we come in her dream time. Those of us that think differently to what would be considered the norm, you know, those, those, that population, the norm, what is the norm, the status quo? It can be difficult to assimilate and there comes a phase or a time where sometimes as a soul we make a choice to belong but meaning we lose a part of ourselves or a truth of ourselves and what I'm getting is like there's been a resistance in belonging which is a good thing because some part has been following that part of your heart space but in that it became kind of like almost a block as well to Belong in unity sense, in the full unity sense, if that makes sense. I am a saint. I am the O E Mahama Awa Iki Ishi Ahua. Oh, it's my eye, it's my mama. Oh, it's my eye, man. Awa, I am a mama. Awa, it is. Oh, good in him. Awa. Sorry, this is grief. The planet is destroyed. They don't have a home to go home to. So this part of the galactic family, uh, it's almost like they're saying we didn't belong. Our planet was gone, blown up in a war. And this grief that has come through with your soul is there. I'm actually, I'm really feeling this one. So that being is just step back because it knows I'm resonating with this because I remember planets blowing up. I remember a lot of this and I remember being on the other side, pushing the button too. So, oh, a lot of grief. Breathe out with me on that. I'm feeling it right deep in this, the heart, the throat, the solar plexus and all the way into the belly, like the womb space. And in that holding of that grief, there is no fucking home to go home to, even when I leave this planet. That sense, that soul, like what? Um, and you see, this is a perspective because it's not true either, but it feels true. Okay, so I'm going to invite, and many of us have been in different galactic situations. Okay, there are Orion Wars and all these kind of things too, and Mintaka and all that kind of stuff. So it's not just about what um, Elena is uh, having come through. But this wants to be acknowledged right now because kind of like it might explain some of that deep grief from even childhood that may never made sense. But some part of the cellular memory came through as a soul when you were born. I don't know if this is making any sense. I'm having a lot of stuff around here. Like uh, it's a whole body, my whole body, my throat, everything is like, oh gosh. And I wonder, have you always been caught in this way when I say that? And I want you to breathe. If anything I'm saying, by the way, doesn't feel true, let it wash off. Just take what resonates. Breathe. I'm just gonna see what you're saying in the, in the comments. Okay. So this grief that that being came through with, it's time to heal. This is like karma, soul karma coming through. It's time to heal. And of course, it would resonate with all of the grief in the world and the suffering as well. The sense of loss and not belonging. Never been heard, been seen. Like the cries were echoed in space. Nobody could hear it. 
and that sense of seeing like just seeing that destruction as you leave your own planet and the thousands that passed and perished and that grief and coming to earth as a school it's like you chose earth believe it or not you chose earth to come here as a soul to learn and what was it that you wanted to learn as a soul and i'm going to ask you that because your journey is really a massive amount i mean francis is the card i pulled that being came in with him he opened the door to that but it is of the heart and that gentleness because you are innately this beautiful and innately this gentle as a soul and when you shine like that it's something i've experienced on and off not all the time but when i'm in that state where you'll be in the sea and the fish will swim around you and land in your hand like that happened to me this summer they they felt that love that i felt in the sea and they trusted me to land in my hand many times coming back around landing and looking at me and swimming in and around me shoals thousands hundreds and I was like, what is happening? And I get that sense that you in nature, if you go to the, the park or the woods or anywhere in the gardens and perhaps ants or insects or birds or whatever happens to be near you, dogs, animals, when you're really in that beautiful, I, I'm kind, I'm gentle, I'm love, I'm strength, I'm all of these things in the heart. You have that effect around you, that resonance, and all beings will trust you, trust that. And you'll trust your heart. You That doubt will go. So that is an element of a journey for all of us. Not just you, Elena. For every single one of us, me included. So breathe, receive. And Francis, we thank you. And that galactic being. I don't know what that being is. Like I've never seen. So that being came in. I've never seen a being like that before. It's a new alien species to me um even it sounded different so um thank you for your soul for allowing me to experience that thank you to that being for coming through and thank you elena i hope that you receive that kindness to self gentleness to self call on your guides they're with you they're working with you and this too will pass okay this will pass all right Dama Ashambayiki. Um, oh, good. I, this Tamara applies for you. I, it really does. I mean, I, I was about to cry in the middle of that reading because it applies to me too. It might look different, but it's the same energy and feeling of what we're working through. So um, those ties now no longer need to be with us. We can release Revoke Rescind across all time, space, dimensions and realities and all all time, space, future, past, present, all dimensions, all space, everything. We can release that. We don't need, the awarenesses are here. We know why we feel that way and we can release that energy now and embody into the now, into the here, into the earth. So that was the first card. How long did that take? <laughs> I won't get to everybody. These aren't short readings, my lovelies. I am tapping into your soul consciousness. So um, it's not like a five minute, two minute pull. See, who was next? Who did I say? Um, uh, who was next on the cards? Um, who was next? Gabriella, I see. Brandy, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to scroll up. So I'm like trying to find. Um, Brandy would like a card. So Brandy, what cards need and want to come for you? Brandy's on my light language course. I haven't, have I heard your light language, Brandy? Tell me how that's going for you. On Monday, I'm gonna do um, a short 45 minute, Elena asked for it as well, and some of the other girls, uh, where I'll do some clearing and some more activation. So if you need to come on that, let me know. I'll be posting the times as well. Ooh. Brandy, you're getting divine feminine. Ooh. 
Right, do you know the way I said St. Francis was really gentle? <laughs> um, so get out of that energy now because Joan of Arc is here, okay? And I'm teasing when I say that, totally teasing. Um, so, I mean, she's depicted as a child here. I mean, she only looks around 12, I would say, 13, 14. Joan of Arc, of course, France, uh, a saint. Um, the warrior of light. I have a steel-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. So I want to breathe into her. And of course, she's a lot of angelic energy. I'm going to burp again. This is just me releasing energy. So sorry, I can feel it like getting up. <clears throat> the Fleur de Livre is on her crest. And this symbol here, the Trinity with that. And the Trinity in this sense, it's not the traditional masculine version that we've all been fed, okay? The Trinity includes the Divine Feminine, the Sophia, the Christed Sophia. And of course, what we've been working with in the Light Language Group, the Shekinah, is the Holy Spirit. That's the flame that we get anointed with when we speak Light Language, right? That's the feminine energy, believe it or not. So um, this is coming through. So I feel she's whispering in my ear now and she's saying so many blessings. That's what she's saying. She's coming through like this. So many blessings. And there will be, and I'm getting the word fortitude, a need for fortitude. Okay, I'm going to ask why. So in our, so she's saying there will be a need for, I don't want to scare you when I say that, but I'm asking why. And she says, in our times of deconstruction, like, you know, the, the programming and the dewiring and all that stuff. And then, you know, the emotions can come through, the loops of the mind can come up and we're working things out of the physical, out of the cellular, out of the the lineages, the bloods as well, like the lines and the bloods of the future lines, your kids, but also the past lines, the parents. So, um, and past loves, lovers, loves, all these kind of things, right? So where we've had, where we have these connections, these deep connections, that when we're healing aspects of that or coming into deeper awarenesses, And anywhere there was ever a sense of, you know, betrayal or abandonment or being left, not understood, not being heard. My ears are popping. <sighs> Feeling even a little lost in, you know, what is it we're here to do? What is it we're here to be? That kind of like questioning aspect. She's just coming through to say, have fortitude and it will come to you. She is here to say that you are the light, like how you have your heart is the light, your womb, your womb and your heart, your womb and your heart are the light and allow them to be shined forth to lead the way. So it's almost a similar message uh, to St. Francis, uh, but it is, there's a deep listening in the heart. So, I mean, she was a lady who heard voices, right? She heard the voices of the, of source, of God, of creator. And she trusted the heart to guide her. Mo many said blindly and many called her crazy. Many tried to stop her. And many tried to say that she was, you know, possessed by demons or, you know, mad as a hatter, you know, tried to tear her down in her truth, in her following her heart. And that can feel like a lonely journey for a young girl like that, right? What, what a lonely journey that may have felt. But she was, she's saying, I was never alone. She's saying, Mary, I was never, she's coming back to me to say, I was never alone. It might look like that to you looking back, but she's like, I was never alone. I trusted, I believed. And it was this thing in her of unwavering trust. Unwavering trust. And of course, she sat she prayed, she asked, she listened, 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 and followed the word of, she's saying the word to me, God, of Christ, of God. And that was the word within her heart. 
God is us. We are God. You know, source is the source is in our heart space. The source is within us. It's not always something outside of us. It came to her as hearing because that's how she listened for it. In others, it may come as they see or they feel. They have an urge, a sensation, a gut feeling, a nudge. But in their listening, and this is the difference between those that do and those that don't. Those that do listen and they follow through. I need to hear that one myself. <laughs> and sometimes we get so caught up in the doingness. And maybe when we start doing the doing, doing, right, that was a heart nudge, but we don't go to check in, you know, the next day or the day after or a week later or a month later, we keep on doing without checking in. Has something shifted? Has the path changed? Is there something I need to know? Is there anything else that needs to happen? And we're, we're kind of this, this check in. And this is practical. Like, honest to God, I'm still really moving into that space of practice, right? I'm still doing this. This is still a practice for me because I can be lazy sometimes <laughs> or get distracted, right? And that deep listening can feel uncomfortable, especially in the first moments when we start to do it where there's nothingness. I experienced that this morning actually, where I sat with a piece of paper and I was like, oh, this journaling stuff, I. You know, I stopped doing it and I tell people to do it. I'm a hypocrite. I need to go and do it myself. I haven't done it in a while. And it was the writing light language that kind of got me to journal and see what else is coming through. When we did the writing light language class the last day. And I uh, sat down and usually I write my thoughts or what's wrong. <laughs> like I get it out in paper. It's part of how I purge. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should ask questions. But usually I just listen and then I don't write down what I listen to. But I was getting, use your hand now, let your hand do it. And I've never done automatic writing before. And that was the first time. But at the very start before it happened, I kind of didn't trust that would happen for me because I'm like, that's other people's gift. It's not how I get my gift. But then when I let it come, and I will say I was a little, I could feel a hint of frustration come up because there was nothing. And it was like a, you know, a couple of seconds of nothingness. And that's very uncomfortable. It's like silence. It can be very uncomfortable. We feel a need to fill the silence. We feel a need to fill the nothingness. Sometimes because we've been told, programmed, nothingness is equal to not good enough and it is nothing. Therefore, you are nothing. Not good enough, right? But we don't realize that in the vacuum that we can create when we empty out and release, let go, surrender. It's all part of that. Let go of the control. The nothingness is the space of creation. It is the void, it is the divine feminine womb. Can we feel comfortable in that love, that we're loved in it? Or is there a voice telling us, ah, ah, ah don't go there. Because maybe there's something to you know, be forgiven or maybe there's something to, an attachment that we don't wanna let go of, a person, a love, a, a feeling, a righteousness. And let them get away with that. They've got to remember. I've got to remember. I can't forgive that yet. You know, I'm not saying this is it, by the way. I'm throwing these things out. Because sometimes that's what comes up in the nothingness. Even in the body, you can get very uncomfortable. It's like suddenly you're hearing an ache or, you know, a sensation. You're like, oh, I don't like that sensation. Because you're being forced to listen to something you've been running from. Maybe that was grief. Maybe it was sadness. Maybe it was anger. So the nothingness holds deep profundity. Can you be in that and breathe? <sighs> Soften into that. Do you give, do we ever, <laughs> this are all of us, do we ever give ourselves like five minutes of nothingness? Because we can look to the outside world, we can be sitting on the couch and to the outside world look like we're doing nothing. But inside here is a maze, <laughs> right? There's, there ain't nothing going on here. There's a whole lot of something, right? So can you allow yourself to sit in nothingness for a few moments every evening and every morning and just breathe? and receive of yourself. 
and of the deep knowledge your womb and your heart space has for you. And whatever feels difficult, hard, uh, maybe you're sensing something's going to happen or something did happen, that you will be given through that space exactly what you need. Can you trust? Can you lean into it? And Dava Maswaiki Rana Sukuyi Tima Sua Sawaiti Ku and I see Nashuturu Kutsuva Sana Masuku Nana Masuku Tuku 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 Receiving. So my left side receiving. Like a resistancy. So, hey, maha, 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 kwe mini, diga, dawa, kai, mana, suru, kama, 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 a little bit back of the heart. Oh, and that's receiving again, back of the heart's about receiving love. Oh, here is about giving it out, right? Receiving love and betrayal or trust broken, things like that. Ma, yi, shi, maha, maha, kwe. Ki atava suru toko i takakana samana suru. And any being, any person, anybody wanting to exert influence over you. I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe it's in the past. Like this could be something old, but like an energy is there. It's small. Revoke or send delete that across time, space, dimensions, and reality. Like get you to think a certain way, kind of a thing. Get you to think a certain way. Like you bend to my will, God damn it! You don't have one, all right? There's something around that, right? And I, I don't know—is there, is there a loop there that's coming up again for you to see? And maybe you've worked on this before, but it's coming up again. And it feels masculine, okay? That being is masculine. Or the institution, and I think that's coming into my head too, because that's linked. The same energy is linked, so you know what I'm talking about, like the church institution thing. That's linked as well. It's not. That's linked into a particular being that I'm seeing. It's behind you, but it's like I'm sensing that. Come on, monkey. Call your power back to you. Forgive, release, let go. You're home. Gamma, ama, ami. Ma shama ativa da kwaiti shuma amara. So that is Joan of Arc. She is the most glorious gold statue in Paris that I walk by. It's near this lovely park. It's kind of like she's off in the middle of nowhere though. Um, and I don't know why she wouldn't be center stage. Of course she wouldn't. But yeah, Joan of Arc. Mm, here in my troth. I'm just gonna see, is there anything else that needs to want to come through with Joan of Arc? She represents the power, and this is about you really coming into your full power that we possess when we're aligned with our calling. <sighs> of course, um, she was burned as well, or she was killed uh, unfairly as a heretic. <laughs> so persecution, uh, revoke, rescind, delete the witch wound. Nama akawaiiti ma shama ampukai. So um, her every action chanted, "I am not afraid. I was born to do this." So she is here to release and revoke all fears holding us back, and she's associated with the fleur de lis, known as the flower of light, and it represents the Trinity, the profound truth that the Trinity would not exist without Mary. Oh my God, I'm so burping on this live a lot. And her brave response to Archangel Gabriel's call. Now, he work, Gabriel works at the Troth. So we're talking Troth energy here too. Can we believe in our vision? Move beyond the fear to action our truth. Knowing every step is flanked with angels. What is the most powerful vision for my life is what she says. So Brandy, that was your reading. 
Let me know if that landed. <laughs> Let me see what else has been there. Eileen, hi. Lavina, hello, darling. And Eve, you're here too. Elisa, hello. You get gassy. <laughs> no, you're not the only one. It's one of the many ways. Um, awesome. 100%. Okay, church. Okay, it continues to show up in all different ways, but I will keep working through that. So, you know what the awesome thing is? Um, when it's starting to show up, not just in that way, but other ways, it means your soul actually is integrating a lot of the lessons that you're learning and embodying and a lot of the clearing because it's going to show up in different... It's like truth has many perspectives. So you've seen the left side, the right side, now you're seeing the back and the front. So your soul has learned and now holds the wisdom, right? So it's kind of like, it's exciting, super uncomfortable, but exciting when that starts to happen. Cause you're like, oh, it's breaking through it. Awesome, okay. <laughs> um, all right, who else wanted a card? Uh, Gabriella, somebody else, Irina. I don't know if you're still here. Are you here, Irina? And Billy, did you ask for a card? I know you're at the very top. It's just I can't scroll all the way up. So if you're still watching, post below, um, as in you've asked, because I can't, I have to scroll all the way up on the phone. And um, please tag your friends, share this. These are messages of truth. These are activations and they're healings. Um, the codes that come through are healing codes to open and activate you as well. Um, I'm just like a vessel, as if I'm the glass. The water coming through is often your own self or source, and that's it. You're there. If you want to drink it, drink it. That's what this is. It's like, that's what this is. Receive what it is that you would like. I came on, Arena's still here. I came on to announce some of my specials as well. So in March, I'll be redoing a new light language group. I'm in one right now. It's freaking awesome. Post those of you that are here that want, that's like, let everybody know how great it is. <laughs> I'm like toot my horn here. Um, but yeah, they're very powerful containers. And um, I'm, I've been asked to do a dragon uh, workshop. And I have been asked to hold more one-to-ones with people opportunities. I have two spots left if you want to work with me one-to-one. Once-to-one, -one, we go deep. It's a bespoke session for exactly what your soul needs. We work through it um, to create whatever it is your soul needs and wants in that moment. So I use a lot, I have a lot of tools in my tool bank, in my toolbox. Um, so whatever it is you need, that will be brought into the session and um, you'll gather and gain all of your awarenesses, integrations, healings, and, and, and expand essentially into the truth of who you be with each single session. Um, I've had a lot of, particularly with the six week, you know, people working with me for this huge, you know, big transformations. So um, I have a 30% offer for only two people now. I don't, I don't have any more spaces other than that. So six weeks or three weeks, 30% off. Message me for more and I will send you the deets. So Irina, this is your card. Now, she is linked to Kuan Yin and she's linked to White Calf Buffalo Woman. It's the same energy signature. It is a signature of peace and compassion. But here is the mystic of peace. Um, za, it's in Chinese, I think. Zu, zu, zao, Xi Zing. <laughs> If anybody speaks Chinese or Mandarin, uh, and I'm pronouncing that horrifically, forgive me, maybe tell me how to pronounce it. Um, her message is, I am peace. <laughs> She's laughing. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Wow, a lot of the messages have all been heart space and also around the peace and the clarity of the mind to enter into the heart space. So her message is, I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Um, so let me see what she is saying. She's an incarnation of Kuan Yin, I think. She's definitely linked to her. I can feel a lot of Kuan Yin energy and green. There's Merlin coming through as well, which Merlin is the healing, uh, the alchemist. He's coming through too. We have a lot of root, uh, root stuff working through safety, working through stability, working through money blocks, working through my body. Am I safe here on earth right now? Um, 
and often when we're not feeling safe and when we're not you know let's say flush with the monies the mind will be super activated um so she's here around peace the mind is clear the way is clear come into the state of peace uh so i'm gonna pull up her card and just see what her her story is she is tranquility that exists deep within the turbulence of daily thoughts same as joan of arc i mean quieten the mind and come through so she was a poet the secret of the receptive she writes must be sought in, stillness, sought in stillness we're talking about the nothingness again coming into stillness isness itself and how can we do that can we even have one minute and then the next day build on two minutes it's that like will you be willing to sit with yourself in the uncomfortable silence not thinking of doing not following a guided meditation right not looking at your phone not not any of the not reading it is literal can you breathe and be with you in stillness even for a moment and get comfortable in the nothingness of stillness noticing what's coming up because that means it wants to be released noticing any loops and releasing it as you go like this is a practice i'm still mastering this like it's still a it's a practice practice and it enables us to move into the heart space and listen listen from the heart to follow the way that is clear so um she often refers to the moon in her poetry because this was a symbol of the eternal sky or the freedom we can reach if we stop looking at the light and shadows the moon casts and see the moon itself this is albert einstein reportedly said that you can't solve your problems with the same thinking we use to create them so can we in that moment of stillness and essentially there's a physiological response that happens as well by the way we deactivate the nervous system we deactivate and shut down the the sympathetic like the fight flight freeze faint response and we move into the parasym that rest and digest restore peace calm joy centeredness grand when we're activated up here we are not breathing fully we tend to have shallower breaths we have low vagal tone and the vagus nerve you hear me say this over and over again when we're in freeze fight flight all of this and by the way everything that's happening in the world right now is made the media is made to make you into that state you're being bombarded with information to activate that sympathetic nervous system and when that system is activated in that way the immunity goes down peace is gone doesn't exist you've either disassociated you're like get the hell out of dodge escape you're frozen in fear or you're fight you're angry you're frustrated <laughs> right so all of these response systems of the nervous system and you'll move between all of these different times depending on the trigger depending on what's happening you'll move up and down that system um the body what happens to the body in that is there is no restoration happening you are not digesting your food correctly your vagal tone goes down that or that organizes your brain i mean the vagal to tone is your brain function your heart function, so your blood pressure function, your breathing function, all regulated by the vagal nerve, your throat, your throat chakra, your, va your, your chords, how you speak and what that sounds like, the resonance. So everything you say, they'll have a vibration and resonance that's not in peace and harmony. Others will pick that up and they'll respond to you with their nervous system going up too. Kids will totally pick up on this, right? Breathe with me now. Your digestive system, your urinary system so we're talking root chakra here kidneys bladder pissed off infections in the urethra right your colon so you can't eliminate effectively or you're over eliminating everything is there's a, a misalignment in everything hormones everything it's all connected all of this is connected 
So when that mind is like that, and when we're receiving so much of this information, you're not safe. The world's not safe. Your body's not safe to be in. People breathing in it is not safe anymore. You can't go outside, it's not safe. You can't touch a doorknob, it's not safe. Like it is over and over hypnotized programming. That's a version of reality that is true. But which version of reality are you wanting to be in? Where your body can rest, restore and replenish and boost immunity and vitality and peace and joy and creativity. Mm, and the deliciousness of night life is there. Which is the reality like all that can still go on, but you don't need to be in it. So this is the element of what this being is coming in with. Like she's here to school us a little on this. And to detangle that energy that's out there, even when we're working in it. And it's very easy for me to say it where I'm sitting. I am not on the front lines. I am not in a hospital. I am not working and around. Like it's very easy for me to say this, but this is the message that's coming through because it will require a fortitude, not where it came through with Joan of Arc, a fortitude in your daily devotional practices to self. Maybe it means stronger boundaries of saying no, that you used to say yes to, but right now you can't say yes to it. You just gotta say no. And what does that bring up for you? What does that bring up for others? You know, if they're getting pissed off at your boundaries, there was something they were getting, you know? So uh, I'm just gonna see what else she's saying. <sighs> Again, she's going on to connect to the earth. She's showing me her hands on the earth and running her hands through literal dirt. <laughs> I wonder if that gardening, she's like very much like caressing the earth, the love for the earth as well. <sighs> so she is talking here Oh, Wu Wei in Taoism translates as doing nothing. This was her principle. I talked about nothingness. This is the message for tonight. It's the same message over and over, all of the cards. Doing nothing. It's the sacred feminine art of trusting the force of life that exists within all of us. Zhu mastered this spiritual practice by calming her mind and experiencing the still center. As I burp again, excuse me. That's at the eye of every storm. So can we all be the eye of the storm that is surrounding us right now? Turn off the politics, turn off the case numbers, turn off all that BS, might be true, is true, may be true, version of reality you wish to be in. Breathe. What may or what might happen, believe it or not, if we're following the practices and the messages came through in these cards, being in that stillness to listen to the heart space, you are in the resonance of the Christ consciousness in that space. You will be told what to do, when you need to do it, when we're in that deep space of listening. If you need to move out of a situation, you move. If you're being told you need protection, you'll get your protection. If you've been told a certain person needs to come into your life, they'll come into your life. When we are in that resonance, that is the reality that we're wishing and wanting to create. That is the stillness and the nothingness with which we create what it is we need right now in the chaos, the eye of the storm. So um, like for me, what I'm taking out of a lot of this is there's practices for me to do, be, embody. I suppose the word is embody more of. And that doesn't mean more time in my day is taken up. It means more, less distraction in my mind space to give conscious intention and awareness to it and to breathe. And just be right so I feel like that's a lot of the message she calls for us to be still to do nothing other than shift our awareness that's a perspective shift and to come out of the current state of mind we're in before making any moves or decisions she reminds us that we only want to take action when what is moving us is the force of love at the heart of everything I mean she's that's just what I just said okay wow her, her meditation is Enter the heart and ask to experience stillness. Repeat the mantra, I am peace. <sighs> I 
so repeating the mantra, I am peace. And I'm just going to invite in. Again, I'm getting like dragons of peace coming through and it's like a lilac -y, pale pink coming through. So we're going to invite that to still the mind space. The rewiring of the brain that's happening with a lot of people getting new codes as well. So that even can activate the nervous system even when we are aware because it had been traumatized and a trauma loop has been set up where there is an, uh, a release and then a build up and an overwhelm and a, a release again, it's a loop. So these are trauma loops as well. So we're going to revoke us into Leo Lack with all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Uh, and everybody is watching now. If you're relating to anything of what I'm saying here, we're going to invite you to hum. Open the jaws. Notice if this tension in your jaw is related into your root. Your if you're a girl, if you're a lady, your women parts, all right, your pelvic bowl. Um, tension there. Tension here. <sighs> Horse lips helps release the tension here, which will vibrate down and open there. So when you breathe in, open, soften, and sigh out, open your urethra, your perineum, your back passage. You know this. And you can do some horse lips, massage this. Notice if you're tense here in the jaw. I'm getting a lot of tension in the jaw by tuning in. So I'm sensing this tension here. Open, close, breathe. And horse lips. and soften everything when you're doing this it's like you're playing how crazy do i look on live right now hum with this as well it'll activate the vocal cords and tone the vagal nerve and breathe in and breathe out don't hold the breath while you're doing it and you're softening here i'm getting that needs to happen that's why i'm saying it Meaning to crack your back. Stretch your back out. Um. Oh, and let the vibrations come in now and you hum in your mind in your mind So let that work through you and move that back. There's something in the back. Breathe. It's the cop breath. Breathe. There you go. So, Irina, I mean, I only read three cards, but hell, this is for everybody. I mean, there's so much in that. So, I'm hoping that you enjoyed that <laughs> and you received whatever it is you need to receive. Um, the light language course is amazing, says Brandy. Thank you. It was so expansive. And Eve uh, is profound. Thank you. You're still breathing and integrating the healings. I know, my darling. I know you are. You're doing so good. The gold rose dragons. Oh, they're fabulous, aren't they? Could you feel them? Absolutely gorgeous. Hello, Lisa Jane. It's lovely to have you. 
thank you for watching and holding the space with us. And Bella Moon, I haven't seen you in a while, my love. Mwah, how are you? I am going to end it at that. It's quite late my, my time. We are looking at 10.14 here. And I'm going to go and get something to eat. And Olivia, my darling, I'm just leaving it at the three. I'm going to trust that whatever it is that was needed right now and the, the messages that came through tonight deeply 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 evocative of softening the heart with gentle kindness opening with the strength and the love of Joan of Arc with St Francis Joan of Arc we had the galactic being coming through around the grief of losing home and belonging on earth we have I mean this is all the information that's coming through come into the heart space we had the later messages root sacral and mind active mind coming down into the body and deactivating an overactive nervous system, which right now, by the way, because that is what's happening, everybody's systems are firing off. And that means if you're fired off, somebody that mightn't be, you'll tune them to fire off and vice versa. We need to be responsible right now for where we're at. Check out the polyvagal theory, see where you're at on that graph. It's an um, incredibly amazing tool to help integrate tapping, dancing, humming, singing, bath, water. All these things will help bring down the nervous system, clean foods, lots of water, breathing, 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 water, water, water. Acknowledging your emotions that are coming up right now. Acknowledging them using Ho'oponopono. All these tools are free and they're available everywhere. You don't have to pay anybody, okay? They're all amazing tools. Listening to binaural beats, solfeggio frequencies, all these things are here for you to access, to embody and journal. Journal out what is it that's happening right now. There is a next wave coming is what I'm getting told. There is another wave coming, an influx of energies coming through in the next while. And we are now in a preparation stage. We have, we are being primed to work through what it is that's happening within us right now, to integrate that and to then access all this new energy that is coming through. There's a gateway. Ooh, I'm just hearing this now. Yeah, there will be a gateway coming through. Perhaps I'll have to do a little, I'll just check in with that. Will I be doing something for that? Yeah, they'll tell me when I need to know. Okay, thank you. So um, right now, see what, watch this over again. Let the energy come into you. I will say clean a malnerve. Anybody has following her, she did a, a, an activation last night that was deeply, deeply powerful. And I have it on my page if you want to check it out. I mentioned... The release negative energy implants and entities meditation on my website on my youtube channel and in my page if you want to go to my page you'll find it to release dense energies right now so there are some of the tools that are free i have available the ancestral somebody was on here that needed ancestral work the ancestral workshop is free and available three hours worth of deep profound release, healings, activations, attunements on my YouTube channel. Go get it. These are free. Like I've been told to offer this. Um, my special offer is if you want to work with me one to one, I have six weeks going right now. I've only two spaces left and a three week one, 30% off, 30% off. Message me if you want to know more. I will be doing another light language course in March and I will be doing a dragon workshop too. So stay posted, tag people that you know that need this right now. If it's going to help them at least for a moment, get in their body and breathe, breathe, tag them here. I give this from my heart. I love you. Thank you. Bye.